we're back to Norfolk Perspectives, and we're just so chilled and relaxed because we're going to the pool. Right, Barbara Hayes, shelter manager? You betcha, seven years in a row. Okay, and Missy Hoist? Yes. Marketing uh, chairman for Friends of Norfolk Animal Care Center. You got it. And then there's Mr. I, is he a surfer or what? He's a surfer dude. That's rugby. He's and he's really an chill. alumni. Yeah. yeah. He came from the shelter. He's, a, he's an alum. He did, yeah. Yeah, he and I met and we fell in love about five years ago now. Now, what's his story? Because he's such a cutie. He was a stray and his owner decided she didn't want him and he and I have been co-pilots ever since. Now, has he been connected with other poodles to know what, how a poodle normally lives? Because I see him with you all the time, and he's in various forms of garb to make a promotion of something wacky that's going to go on to encourage adoption. He's a very tolerant dog, because he knows at the shelter I have many to choose from. But um, now he was the lucky one, and, and I'll tell you, he's been a great little dog. He's a good ambassador. Yeah, he's he an is. easy boy. And he looks great in those uh, bad bathing suits, because i got to tell you, i got a pair just like it, a little bit bigger. <laughs> but he wears them better than I do. He does. Missy, what, is, what are we, yeah. what, how are we going to have dogs just kind of chilling and relaxing yeah, they're, pool. they're not chilling. No. They're not chilling. There's nobody chilling. We are having a blast. We're going swimming. There's dock dogs. There's just um, so much fun. Vendors, adoptable dogs, um, uh, shots. It's fun. Yeah. It's not chill. Norfolk Fitness and Wellness Center, fun. September 19th. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bring your dog. Yes. Now, we got to make it clear disclaimer from the get go no human being will be in the pool. Correct. Unless a lifeguard has to go in to right. rescue a dog. And after that, the pool is being drained for those that are enjoying the pool right. as we speak. Exactly. It's our end of summer celebration, and what a celebration it is. And it, it runs from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you can either come and, and do an individual session um, for swimming, or if your dog, like our dogs, loves to swim all day long, can't all get enough, long. we have all day passes too. Okay. So there's a couple options there. And they don't have to swim, they can just come and, and see the vendors and. Thank goodness, because I, I have an alum who sat on the sofa right about there, Beagle, doesn't like to swim. And she stays home and sits on her sofa. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> she sits on the sofa and hears about it. So, but if you've got one of those dogs and you, that doesn't want to swim, there you, go. you can still come because there's a whole festival that goes with it too, Oh right? yeah, and it's, we have a lot of contests. And like I said, we hope that there's a lot of shelter alumni that show up because we really want to highlight them this year um, because that's why we do it. And that's why we raise this money. Last year um, was our, our best yeah. year and we raised about $17,000, and that sounds like a huge amount, mm -hmm. but in a shelter of our volume with nearly 6,000 animals a year, it goes quickly. And so we hope people will come who have adopted their dogs from us and know that they're there to help the next generation who, who needs that extra little leg up. Did you get that? Little yeah, thing? I love that yeah, leg up. You thought about that for <laughs> quite a while. You've been doing this for a long time, and he had a long time to come up with that line. Okay, I'm gonna be very blunt. There will be dogs that can be adopted. Yes. Yes. But you got to come to this event because this is a fundraiser. Correct. Right, Missy? Why are we doing this then? Well, how, how are we going to be using this? The thing? Friends of the Norfolk Animal Care Center, um, we support the shelter. So we support the Norfolk Animal Care and Adoption Center. This is our largest fundraising event of the entire year. Of course, uh, Doctoberfest is uh, quickly coming up second, and yeah, that was a human have fun. Absolutely. Dogs get to have fun, humans have fun. It's a win win. That's right. And the big win is the money we raise goes to help support the shelter. Yeah, I've, I've been, and, I, and, and I, I'm a member of the board, and it is so cool when you hear, you see a dog that, um, or a cat, that for whatever reason might not be adoptable, but because of a donation for medical treatment, you can take care of the, the eye condition, and it's an adoptable animal. Right. Absolutely, and, and all this month we've had the Bow Wow and Meow Meow Luau going on. And okay, say that again. Bow Wow and Meow Meow Luau. I know exactly I've what you're talking about, You too. said I, I've done this for a long time. But that's the other thing that, that Friends has helped us um, accomplish is having some of these subsidized adoption events during our peak times when the space is at such a premium, and it really has helped us truly in so many ways save lives, whether through adoption mm -hmm. or helping some of these animals with the extra medical care and fundraising and marketing. The amazing tide train, a um, lot of good stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, we just, uh, I know, that was so cool. For the most of the summer, we've had a wrapped train yeah. with a giant beagle on it. And this, I think you know the bird? Oh, I think I do. That is Captain Morgan. And he has now been with me for three years. He was actually, uh, 
he was at the shelter for about six months mm -hmm. and um, he's lived in my home for the last three years and uh, he is he's my baby. Now he had a compadre that is not allowed to be in public, right? No, uh, the so language Sebastian is just, Lewis. Language yeah. is really bad? Sebastian's my bird. He's a bad bird, but we love him. We adore him. Okay, so, and of course we had some adorable animals that were on the train and we just showed it, but I hope the viewer's not falling asleep like Rug is. But <laughs> He's had a hard day at work, Bob. I know, it. it's been tough. It's, it's keeping those lays on the, on the shoulder straight. But I know a lot of people think, okay, it's the Norfolk shelter, there's a bunch of strays, there's a bunch of... But what kind of animals do you see coming through there? We see everything. I mean, he was a stray. He was a six-month-old puppy. Oh, wow. um, we, we have from old to young, from active to sit on the couch beside you, big animals, little animals. Um, we never know. In the summer months, we, we can get anywhere from four to 600 animals a month. That's a lot of variety, and there's a lot of amazing animals there. And it's a, it's a wonderfully clean, fresh, friendly shelter, um, and we love to create an, a just a, a lifelong experience for our customers. Well, and I, how can I say this? It's kind of like going to TJ Maxx. You go through one day, there'll be an inventory. You go back the next week, there's a different inventory. Absolutely. So if you're in the market. And it's good because they're all getting adopted. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Now, okay, I got to ask you, it's dogs gone swimming. And I know that there are people out there who just love their cats and can't stand dogs. They're going to say, why can't we have it? Cats go on swimming. Well, they can fill up their tub and send us a video. We encourage that. <laughs> yeah, that that'd be good for And we'll play it at Dogs Gone Swimming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so what are the logistics? How can you sign up? Go you can go to the website, uh, www.friendsofnacc.com, and you can sign up there. You can um, go ahead and uh, do it by PayPal. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually come into the shelter. Um, but the best way is actually on the website, and then you can pay right there online. You can actually pay the day of the event as well. But if you pay in advance, then um, that way you can go ahead and order a T-shirt and have it ready and waiting so for you. So it's going to be t like what oh. you've got on. There you go. You've got those kind of T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah, look for the advertising for it. And more importantly, bring a dog's friend because, you know, what better way to do this but to swim with a buddy? There you go. Hey, buddy. So now he's going to be walking around. He's got a buddy. Right. I tell you what, it's, we're going to turn this pool in. There's no relaxation except for maybe the humans letting the dog play. Yeah. Thanks a lot for uh, doing what you do to raise the awareness of, uh, of adoption, but more importantly, raising the awareness of the, the need for good pet responsibility and um, helping with adoptions. Thanks a lot. Thank when you. we Thank come you. back, we're going to be talking about a really special event that you're going to want to come to. Stay tuned.